Greedy peeps and welcome back to the Red Strings Club, the cool part of the game. Because now we're actually in the part that I believe I had some sort of impact on. Because if I'm not mistaken, this might be Jadith. Because we asked Brandys to track down Jadith. And Jadith was the girl who, because I gave her, like, this module when I was playing as Akara, she's now turned into a rebel, basically. And she wants to bring down the whole super corporation or whatever it's called. So I'm guessing this is Donovan calling Brandy's. Hi, on. Oh, you finally made up your mind? Yeah, I'm all for going with them with all, Adam, with all we got. There's no in the middle of a delicate situation here. So last time Donovan learned that they were gonna basically put a robot in control of, um, like, uh, in charge of brain control, mind controlling people. Which could turn bad because it could go all iRobot or Soma and where it's like, the humans are bad, they must be protected against themselves and like go all even go all mind controlling on them and that's kind of an issue. So that's why we're here. Sorry about that, but just wanted to fill you in. There's nothing quite a I'm in the middle of a quite a delicate situation here. Good news is that I found co <gasps> Sorry about that. Co Johanna Septis. Oh yeah, Johanna. That's that's her name. Excuse me about that. I just drank a whole bottle of Coke. Bad news is that she's pointing a gun at me. We hopefully shouldn't feel very tense because Donovan just had like an entire Russian roulette barrel just pointed at him and he didn't even flinch, so. Let's see what I can do. I've got a naze up my sleeve. So she asked me to track her down, I asked Proxima for a backdoor for, to her rebel implants. I'm gonna try sending some antidepressant subroutine to tame this kitty. Okay, gotta leave you now. Bye. Antidepressants? Quite the view, huh? Just smoking a cigarette. Don't move. Relax, I'm not your enemy here. That'll be for me to decide. I need to lower her guard so I can get closer. So I wonder if I gave her a different module. Like, how would this be? Uh, how different would this be? Approaching her will increase the tension, so I should probably talk her down before moving in. Gotta pay attention to her body language. If she's too anxious, putting some distance between us will definitely help. I can also hack her implants to calm her down, but I shouldn't abuse it, or I could fry her. Ooh, gameplay! But let's pour some soul into this. Well, you're not gonna be as good as Donovan, let's be honest. He's the real smooth talker of you two, but... Chill Pulse. I'm not gonna chill Pulse. Explain what's going on with their implants. That could actually work. Dialogue. Listen, Joanna. I just wanna talk. Who are you? Why have you been following me? I work for Super Constant. No, you don't. Why would you say that? She literally wants to bring them down. Why would you say that? Couldn't you say I'm with the Proximus or whatever? I'm Brandy's. I need your help. What for? I want to put an end to the SPW. Oh, she's with Proxima. Nope. That's just a free bird who likes freedom too much. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to stone, but she looks alert. Let, let's keep going. What are you running from? Every single bastard in this city. Corporation took enough from me already. That's perfect. We're on the same side. Yeah, what side is that exactly? I don't trust you or Proxima or any other shoddy freedom fighter. Not paying taxes doesn't make you better than corpse. In the end, the new association is about power struggle. I agree. That's where I want. I run. Freelance. Yeah. <laughs> I pick my own fights. Usually it's against the corpse. Sure. But at times I pitch myself against the likes of Proxima too. Who do you think you are? Some kind of watchman? Or just a busy body who can't sit out on a bit of fun? Or loyal to my own code? How have you managed to stay alive this long? Because I also happen to be as good to be good as hell. Smooth talk, Brandies. She looks chill. She move closer. Yep. Hmm. But she looks alert. Yeah. Let's just. I don't know if I wanna do this. This right here. Because this could, pro this could cause problems, because I want her to... Oh, but that would be the right thing. Now I'm gonna save that for last. I don't- I don't want- I feel bad for her, because she's actually- This is none of her fault. She was just- She wanted an upgrade because she was worried about, um... Well, she's just like any other person who wanted an upgrade. She was worried about, uh, not knowing what to do, so she got an implant or whatever as her last resort solution. And now she's here. 
because I basically messed her over or well, I don't remember what her name was but we messed her up with a like a cop or not a copycat but a broken a broken module what's the plan now what do I want to do with your newfound path I'm not sure I'm still busy hating everything Boosting myself for what I've built I could have been so blind all these years still young you plenty of years left to live for sabotage think of your actions so far as preparation learning your enemy or easier make free from the city forever some place where corporations can't reach me why should I care about all those idiots see all the blue and yellow lights they make me sick what the hell do you fight for them hmm because they need us Media, of course, their government lulls them into slumber. We few that remain awake have an obligation to fight. Oh, we're so edgy. Let them rot. They deserve each other. To me, they're just accomplices in this rotten game. How are you even a piece on their board? Spice on the this rancid kebab of a city. <sighs> what a metaphor. Shut up. But her guard is up. So that didn't help. Okay. Oh, am I gonna drop it? What if I told you, I know why you're going through this. What do you mean? I know why you lost it and escaped from a super continent. What? Why? Why, why would you know something like that? What do you even know about me? Well, don't get me wrong, we just met. Alright, I barely know you. But I know what's producing this sudden change in your behavior. Proxima infiltrated super continent implant clinics and installed some rebel upgrades into you. Well, that... Can't... That, that's why I... Full disclosure, I happen to be very acquainted with the internal working of these implants. It can't override your thoughts, but the program explores your subconscious for certain ideas. Rebellion compassion then brings them to the conscious. A dirty trick in my opinion, but to be fair, the program can't re can produce thoughts that aren't your own. Whatever you're feeling now, it's not artificial. These are your original ideas, but they've been prioritized so you can't avoid them anymore. It's nice of you to explain what kind of bug it was that bit me. But what do I care now? This is my new mind. Uh, the thing is that I not only know how it works, I know how to deactivate it. If you come with me, I'll happily set you free from its influence. You do that? Yeah, I'm not a fan of mental manipulation, so I'll do it for free. Okay, I'll think about it. Oh, that was good. Say, so is there anything I could do to make you feel better? Can you create a world free of corporations? Sure, let's start with Super Continent. Good idea. It'll only really take years. If we're lucky, we might even be able to take a second one down before we die. Just 99. <laughs> oh god. That'd be awesome. Not only because we'd rush, we'd feel slaying a titan. Also because the message it sends. We could inspire more people to join the giant killing game. A new kind of revolution, but with the chief whatever officers at the guillotine. Keep dreaming. Keep whining. Hmm. I like this. This is very cool. Like the amount of small mini games in this is awesome. Hmm. See this. See this way. If you're this mad, it's because you really care. You're a loving soul, and you want to make things better for society. Society. Society's the worst type of corp that it, that there is. Society Inc. Producers of racism, misogyny, and counterphobia. Since 70 million years before, fuck. Okay. What I want is to suppress it. Hey, there are some guys at Supercontinent are about to do that. Just give them the call. Ah, you're right. And I hate you. What are we gonna do with all this hate? Can I always remove. Oh. Fine, really helps. Even if I. I wear this impassive smile by default, I'm one of yours. I hate this town, and the ignorant masses that compromise it. So take comfort in not being the one of them. I've been ironic that I risk my ass so I can, so they can keep watching their, wasting their lives in the front of the TV. But in the end, it's the fight that does it. The adrenaline, the rush of knowing you're breaking the system even if you're just making tiny cracks in a massive mountain. At some point, even the cost stops mattering. It's just that. The fight. At some point, hate stops being a nuisance and start being a fuel. Then you can really smile when you when some crazy co co points a gun at your face. Hmm. Let's move in. 
Yeah. I still don't get why you're pointing that gun at me. It's not like I'm gonna attack you or anything. What would I do, drop this cigarette? It's a really good cigarette. It's been lasting for like five minutes. It's a really good cigarette. Really, I don't care if you just want to walk away. You need to fire a gun in the process. I just feel like causing some damage. My blood's burning. Not having a channel is driving me insane. Get rid of the gun, you'll feel better. Oh, that does not seem like the thing. I can give you plenty of things to point a gun at. Okay, because that is just literally... That, that could tip her off, like, oh, you're gonna attack me. Point a gun at, for example, your past. Just break some cotton together. <laughs> you make it sound cool. I'm in the business of breaking stuff. You're making it look cool, boss. Let's move in. How much closer do I need to get? I don't want to use this. You know, maybe not the best to vent about your frustration. Deep down, and hell, not so deep. I'm just as angry as you. Given enough time, I'm sure we'd feed each other the other's rage until we decide to bomb the whole city or something. You know somebody who's not angry or dumb? Yep, Donovan, the owner of the Red Strings Club. That fool. He genuinely loves people. Like the dumb variety to me. The guy sharper than the two of us together. How does he do it then? Runs a bar and doesn't hate people? Can't picture it. He's in love with human emotion. Love, hate, sadness, disdain, joy, shame, you name it. He's able to find beauty in any of them. So hate machines like us? We can use someone like him close. He's the real ace of my sleeve, the reason I haven't lost it yet. You should come with me and meet him. None of them will hear your soul, I promise. You sound in love with a guy. <laughs> but for a cynical character like you to say such things, I might just buy it. It's always time to fire the gun later, right? Plenty. Okay. Lead the way. Meet that legendary bartender of yours. Oh, he is legendary. He is legendary. Like, excuse me, still eating spaghetti. No, I still haven't finished it, even though it's the last episode. Oh. Thank you, Italians. Great, amazing food. Francis is coming back, and my mouth is filled with spaghetti. He's bringing Joanna with him. May I have to get, her, to get her on our side, huh? That's our brandies. Donovan? Hmm? May I ask why you threw Edgar out of the club? I didn't expect you to lose your cool like that. I'd say Dr. Coldstream is a valuable asset for your plans. I'm surprised you decided to kick him out instead of digging for more information. <sighs> that was unprof unprofessional of me, huh? I guess I picked that up from brandies. Sometimes the right choice isn't the best choice. I may have made our lives harder, but... Heck, if I didn't make myself happier. No regrets. <laughs> I felt your anxiety levels rising at unpre unprecedented rates, so I determined you made Edgar leave out of self-defense. But it's interesting to know how you've justified that to yourself. There's no playing cool with you, eh? Was it about the mirror neuron algorithm that made? What is it about the mirror neuron algorithm that makes you so uneasy? Hmm. Being in the wrong hands—that's what scares me. Yeah, because the intentions, even though they're good, being in the wrong hands is bad. Being in the wrong hands—that's what scares me. Be subject to whims of whoever decides how the society should has to behave, even if that one is you. No matter how good-hearted you're supposed to be, I want to be the master of my own evil. I want—I want the right to do wrong. I don't mean to discourage you, but the chances of you stopping all this are very low. So in case I ever get to be in charge of the MNA, would you mind answering some questions about where to draw the line when turning, when tuning social psych welfare? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I'm sort of backup to maintain sliver of hope mode for revolution in case we fail. Let's talk about the primary intent of SPW then. How should I regulate depression and anxiety? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is some very... See... Um... See, the thing is, you can get through it. Um, actually, that this is not to make it personal or anything or be sappy about it, but I've actually gotten through both of those things. I had clinical depression at one point, and I had anxiety at, like, the start of my teenagehood. Like, severe anxiety, I had, um severe claustrophobia and I couldn't go anywhere because I was so anxious all the time but like it's things you learn from 
and it's things we well yeah this is this is also weird because this is a case if he gets to if it he she whatever it is gets in control and there wouldn't be any preventing it anyway uh regulate depression and anxiety so yeah, if they were in control, and they would be in control, and the, the SWP, SPW, or whatever, would be carried out no matter what we did. Um, then if it should regulate it or not. Oh, that's some really deep questions. See, I was gonna say, see, see, originally I was gonna say let people go through it, because like that's a thing you... Like, like, you can go through that, you can get through that, but then again, that would be like saying, oh, don't, you don't need to regulate cancer or anything. Be, like, the, depression can be a lethal disease. Like, and not all people have it. It's not meant to be a thing. Like, it's a malfunction in the brain. And I would say, yeah, my life has changed, and I believe I've become a better person because I had those. But not even all people get it in the first place. Like, it's not a period, a natural period of our life that we miss. But it's more like curing a disease. So that that's just my opinion as someone who's had it. Like, yeah, I even though I came out on the other end a better person, then the fact that I had it in the first place and that we're already working, and I that I definitely think that we should be working. Like, even though I feel like I came out better on the other end, I wouldn't want anyone to go through what I've what I've gone through. Like, I wouldn't want that. So, and it is it, it is once again it isn't a natural thing for us. It just. It's a malfun it's a genetical malfunction that happens to some people. That some people are genetically some people can de get depression and genetically some people are impossible to get depression. But anyway, I don't, I don't, that was just a quick rant, sorry about that, but the ethical questions in this game are really good and that's why I love this game so much because like I, I love ethics and stuff like that. I'm okay with sadness, but getting rid of a clinical depression may be a good use of the MA in case we can't keep it from happening. Should I let people commit suicide? Okay, I'm gonna say no. No, prevent people from committing suicide. Mania, depression, anxiety are things we should deal with ourselves. But if the MNA can keep people from killing themselves, that's a good threshold. Yeah, because... I don't think anyone... Hmm... <sighs> because in most cases of suicide that I've heard of, then as soon as they, like... As soon as they're about to do it, they get scared and they regret everything, like they've been pushed beyond it and... Like looking back, I bet that almost none of them would wish they had... Un unless it's like a permanent disease or something in the, like it... I don't want to get too randy about it again, but like... If it's a mental disease they have for life, and it's something they can't change, uh, and then those feelings of suicide might return, but in most cases it's a, it's a few time thing. It can. It doesn't happen very often in someone's life, if at all. That that sounds weird, but if someone does it, I don't think they'll do it again in most cases. So they look back at that later and they're like, "Oh God, I'm so happy I didn't do that." So that that's a good thing. Should I allow rape to occur? Oh, now I feel like I'm being controllist, but. Oh, well, rape would just be suppressing someone's weird, like, uncontrolled sexual urges. That's something that needs to be taken care of anyway. So that's like, people would have to go to jail for that. You can't just suppress that and say, nope, I'm gonna prevent rape or whatever, because that violent freak energy would just be channeled elsewhere. I'm gonna sound bad, but I'm not gonna let control of this one. I'm not. Because that's like that's like a deep issue. That, that's like an issue that a lot of people can have, and that's not like a that's not a disease or anything. That's just something about human that is messed up. That would be like prevent crimes from happening. Mm, ah, yes, rape is a terrible thing, but overriding man's impulses isn't the way. There are other ways, like raising children, so they don't grow up to be rapists. That's true. Once again, yes, that that is a human that's a human problem. Like all of these, of course, would have good outcomes, but that's like that's something you need to fix as people, not something you need to restrict mentally. Let us know with the threat of murder, such as xenophobia and homophobia. 
Yeah, that's that, that that's completely fine. Like I'm a I'm an Asian guy. I live with a lot of racism and stuff stuff like that, and I experience and I live in a country where xenophobia is a very like very common thing. Um, and yeah, that's just that that's just how people are brought up, and like that just depends on the culture. Like I bet like in the future, I don't think racism to that degree will exist just because we've grown used to the people around us. But yeah, sure. Yes. I still trust that someday humanity will grow out of that. Definitely. I agree with you 100% Donovan. Should I let women remain oppressed? What? Women are not oppressed nowadays. Well, it's the future, isn't it? What's the matter? Hasn't indicated you were that stupid. Oh! I'm sorry. But I seriously believe that. Don't worry about it. Let's continue. Well, I don't know. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Akara thinks you're stupid. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying I'm sexist in any way. I'm just saying this is the future. This is like far in the future. If sec like if equality still hasn't been become a thing, it's that far in the future where we have a walking he, like walking basically human super intelligent robots that are smarter than a human and we still haven't achieved equality Then we deserve that like that like th then we absolutely just let it take over Just let the whole thing take over because that would be stupid if equality didn't exist in that future Why do you say that you are all against the MA, but doesn't don't mind using it if a particular issue concerns you Maybe you're just against how they plan to use it No, I said that all that just in case in case we fail to stop it from happening. That's agreed. But you could have told me not to affect people at all, and it would be as if you had succeeded. What is it that you want, then? Uh, he made your point, but... Just do as I said if the m &A becomes operational, right? I have to get a hold of the mirror neuron algorithm. I'll do exactly as you just suggest. You know, I got the experience what I believe was a rush of happiness when you praised me in front of Edgar. Thank you very much, Donovan. I'm glad to hear that. You're wonderful, Akara. You should be proud of yourself. Baroness and Joanna are about to come through the door. Mmm. But yeah, I stick to my decision. Like, this is the future, so I expected equality. That, that has nothing to do with my opinion about women, or about equality or anything. That, that's just... That's just... I, exp I hope that's the case in the future, that equality has been achieved at that point. Come on. Joanna, this is my partner Donovan. Donovan, this is Joanna, co at the Supercontinent. I spent so much time of this video just rambling. Welcome to the Red String Club. How are you doing? Oh, why does I like robot? Fine, thanks. A lot better since your pal here deactivated the rogue implant in me. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so happy. I would feel so bad if I didn't disable that. Oh, I see. That means you're not on our side anymore? Not exactly. Randy's may have freed me from the influence of the implant, but I can't ignore the revelations I'm I had while under its effects. After all, I was dealing with a serious anxiety crisis already before that shit broke me down. All this just opened my eyes. I have felt this level of clarity since my NGO days. I'm happy to have you on our side then. For the record, don't count me with the revolutionary lot. I'm still loyal to Superconsonant, I just wanted to help me steer it in the right direction. As it should be the way it should go. Sure, whatever works for you. Mm. Is that an Akara android? Yup. And not just any Akara android. The very one that installed your mind-opening implant. You. I just have one question. I understand that you had several options at your disposal. Why did you choose that one? I'm sorry. Normally I'm able to follow logical steps behind my actions. But for this one I can't tell. Something inside me told me to. Something, huh? Inspiration from the machine. How beautiful. And creepy. Beautiful and creepy. Watch your mouth, Brandies. From the time I spent with Akara, I can tell they have their own tiny heart. Yikes. Anyway, can we focus on the more urgent matters? Tomorrow's our best chance to stop social psych dumb, dumb fair, <laughs> and then a mirror nonsense algorithm. How come? Tomorrow we're migrating most of our network to a more powerful server on which we can run the m and Until everything's signed, sealed, and ready to go, there are plenty of holes like Brandies might be able to exploit. I could work anyway. I could work my way in after the finished migration too, but the chaos is definitely gonna open breaches I can exploit. 
Always a show off. Listen, Brandies. The only way we're gonna access the control of the MA is through the executive office in the Supercontinent power tower. The light of security will be at it will be at Adrian Ferguson's CFO. He's supposed to be absent. Yeah, he got a nasty implant, same as you. We get a bit get a better ride out, out of it than I did. Wait, did I put that one in too? So that's it. I get into the office and hack the shit out of that MA. It's gonna be trickier than that. In this day and age of our neural hackers and cyber welfare, our new CEOs designed a system to level deck, the level the field against your kind. <laughs> Impossible, they've gone completely analog? Almost. Communication among executives and access to critical systems such as MA are handled through an old fashioned landline network. A what? Shit. That's ancient even for me. When I was a kid, there were already just a few left. It's like a phone, but wired to the wall. It's what we had for getting calls from my grandparents. I think they dismantled the whole network a couple of decades ago. That's right, we got this one built just before us. Or just for us. Even if a neural hacker managed to plug it in, it doesn't use the same protocols. It just looks like a gibberish to an implant. It's all controlled by numeric commands and voice activation. Look at me. You're just as useful as any other implant-free peasant. Hey! I wasn't being sarcastic. My specialty is social engineering. I have a VO mod implant, which allows me to impersonate anyone's voice, provided I have enough biometric data. So congrats, you found your inexpungible bastion Achilles heel. Still hope that, I guess. Next major ob obstacle is our current CEO. What do you know about her? Uh, I know that the CEO isn't Jack B. Gaynor anymore, that's it. Shit. Brandy's got me all hyped, but you're not the legendary information dealer I pictured. Hey, it's pretty good. Don't we just thought that wasn't interesting enough, right? Ugh, don't try to back me up here. It just makes me feel more lame. I guess I'll try to put you up to speed. Our new CEO- Oh right, I was supposed to find out, <coughs> but I didn't. Our new CEO is a 15-year-old girl named Radhika. Okay. I don't get it, but- What? What? Is that even legal? Well, officially, she's not our CEO yet. Our lawyers are working on that. So Jack B. Gaynor is still on paper as our current CEO. Radic has a prodigy trained by this super-secret program. Even I don't even know all the details. The important thing is that you shouldn't underestimate her. She's more intelligent than the three of us together, and ruthless. She took some people out of the game already, if you know what I mean. Ooh, an incredibly intelligent young sociopath with excessive power who's about to control all of society. Okay, I'm officially scared now. If you're to mess with the MA, you'll definitely have to deal with her. Be careful. No matter how smart you are, you can't beat the harder and experience of us old dogs, eh, Donovan? Just be careful, dude. Don't sweat it. You know I always land on my feet. Anything else I should know? And that's it. Okay, I'm starting to take a wheel from this point on. Joanna, I need you to go back to the, your office at the Supercontinent and act as if you've recovered. I have recovered. You know what I mean. Just go there in case I need some backup. In this means I back up. No, Donovan, you did a great job. You should rest tonight. I'll need, I'll need you fresh tomorrow to back up, back me up on the phone. I'll stay here tonight and give you a special, special massage to get you back in shape. What do you say? Hell yeah, I freaking earned that. Everybody have a good sleep, and we'll go fresh into the battle as soon as Supercontinent server migration starts. All right? Excuse me. Yeah. I can try to recreate some biometric profiles of people who have been in the club since I have them analyzed. The ever useful car. Sure, give me all the voices. The thing is, the process takes a while, so it's likely I will have only one ready in time. Hmm. Okay. Uh, which voice would prove more useful? Ooh. So either Diana or Edgar have the highest clearance, right? Well, I don't know, because Edgar already said that he would help us if things spun out of control. So I would already kind of have his voice, but that would only be if it spun out of control and we're trying to prevent this whole thing from happening. Uh, not Larissa. Or Neymar. Neymar's just a lawyer. I'm going with Diana. Give me Diana's voice. Understood. I'll transfer it to your neural drive when it's ready. Domo, a domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's a wrap. Tomorrow we make history. So this is a landline head uh, telephone. He sneaks into Ferguson's office? Wait, who is this? Oh, Donovan. Yup, I'm in. Not a single alarm trigger. Nice.
I'm confused, so you can teleport now. And we still don't have equality in this society, are you kidding me? Okay. I see you found the landline join us told us about. You want me to run through its mechanism? Sure, provided it doesn't f make you feel too ancient. Shut up and listen. Okay, okay, I'll get comfortable. I want to make these guys different voices, but I can't really make any. Am I holding it right? Looks not all that different from the regular phone. You have a numeric pad where the phone's connected. That's it. So you just click on it and input the sequence of nine numbers, then wait for it to perform the call. You can also use the numpad or number num keys on your keyboard as a shortcut. Cool. You should have Joanna's phone uh, phone address in your neural drive in case you want to give it a try. Sure, I'll have a look a look around too in case I see some useful info to start digging towards the M and A. I set my drive in detective detective mode so it'll automatically be picking up facts and important data. I've also loaded Joanna's voice in it, along with the voice of a car a car prepared for me. So that should be more than enough to get me started. Wish me luck. Luck wished. So this is where I believe we'll be spending almost the rest of the game, right? What? This is a natural bone. It has something carved on it. Dull spellum inexperitus. War is sweet to those who never experienced it. This guy's a total loony. What about this? So I can just make things float? Some documents, they look like meeting schedules. Genesis is like plan discussion July, blah blah blah. Empowering middle managers July, blah blah blah. Merger with blah blah blah. Next step July, blah blah. And that's it for this week. It's nothing really useful. Well, this looks so cool. The visuals in this are awesome. Flowers? Bouquet? The flowers are synthetic. I feel like the real thing, but I asked for once. It has a card in it. Glad, glad to have you back, Adrian. Call me and I'll put you up to speed. Karen from HR. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, huh? Karen from HR. Ooh. So what do I need to do? Karen from HR. Ooh. Chief Operations Office. Ooh, who do I want to call as? Zero to five to seven. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a hang of this. How can I help you? This is Lucas Leipzig. I'm sorry, Mr. Leipzig. This line is exclusively for employees. I'm an employee. I'm sorry. You know every single employee in the company? What are you, a robot? I feel I'm gonna have to alert security. Forget it. So how do I change voice? Oh, so that's my voice now. Or is it? Am I am I right about that? Zero two five two seven two. Am I Deanna Mays now? Deanna, how are you? Your contract with us is almost over, right? Such a shame. But don't worry, a girl as talented as you. It won't be long before we have to call in for another project. I. I heard you tried your SPW project on yourself, right? Did it help you with your chronic depression? Oh. Who is this Karen? How does she know about the SPW and Diana's depression? Are they that close? Yeah, I feel super good. Thank you. Listen, Karen. Could you tell me how to access the mirror neuron? <laughs> your algorithm? Sure, you can access any information you need from in your office. Okay, space. Your office is computer. Project employee data is filtered by your security clearance level, so you don't have to worry about stumbling upon sensitive information you shouldn't have to access to. Hmm, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, what did that help? Because I don't know. I have to watch out for Radica Prodigy. Oh, it's tonight the MA is going live. Hey, Donovan, I need your help. Sure, what's up? Um, what should I begin with? <laughs> yeah, so soon I'm already stuck. I thought this was your specialty. Hey, anyone can have a bad day. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm here to support you as always. My advice would be to start searching the room thoroughly. You're always telling me about the crazy amount of vital information people leave hanging on posts. It's in their offices, right? 
You're right. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Thanks. This? A note. Since you complained about the computer ru ruining your Feng Shui, I had it installed in your hidden compartment. Activate it from your phone. The old seven to hit the jackpot. Well, let's see, see how you want it when you're back. You gotta love the post it's leaking. Okay. Leaky. So is it all? I have no clue if this is right. I don't think this is anything. Accessing office computer. Oh wait! I thought it was a joke. Oh, so this is my is this my computer? Sh okay, show me your secrets. Ah, of course. It needs a password. Can you crack it? Let me try. Admin, admin, I love admin. Let's try admin, admin. Nope. Nope, this computer's a beast. It'd be easier to torture the password out of the owner. Okay, should I call a torture? I wish that was a joke. Don't call anyone. I'll try to figure out the password myself. It'd be a great time to take advantage of the rogue implants a car I installed in Ferguson. I need to find a way of contacting him. The rogue implant. Oh! Find a way of contacting him. Do we have anything around here? I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Need to find a... Nope. Great time to take advantage of the rogue implants of car stolen Ferguson. Oh, is... Oh, Ferguson? Who is Ferguson? Did I install any rogue implants in Ferguson? I need you to contact Adrian Ferguson. He's not in his office and an urgent matter has come up. Uh, Adrian hasn't really been feeling well these days, so he's resting at his villa in, by the harbor. Fortunately, he had an emergency line installed at his home. Take note. 555-693-0310. Gotcha. Thank you. Tell him we're praying for his recovery at HR. Sure. Bye. Hmm. Adrian Ferguson. So what do we know about this guy? Nope. Okay. Password for this. So this is Ferguson's computer, right? Mm. I'm old since you complained about the thing. You think she had a stolen apartment? And the phone seven hit the jackpot. We'll see how it advances. Got a lot posted leaking corporation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is that actually exactly what you're doing, smartass? Uh, five, 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 six, nine, three, zero, three, zero. Okay. This is difficult. Hello? Hi, this is Deanna Mays. Hmm, Deanna, you're that girl we hired from to develop SPW, right? That's correct, sir. And allow me to personally congratulate you, miss. You did an excellent job. Can't wait for us to free the world from the restrictive coils of our own minds tonight. Thank you very much. It's just one little issue. Ah, what's the matter? I've encountered a little problem with the program, it just needs to be fixed immediately. But I need to do it from the computer with at least with, with at least executive clearance. So I need your password, sir. Oh no, that's terrible. Here you go. Merge the world of 4891. Thank you very much. I'll keep you up to date. <sighs> Nobody knows these implants exist, huh? No one could possibly What the hell? The password doesn't work? Well Ferguson isn't trying to trick me. Has he called security on me? I guess we just call him back? Hello? Hello? Adrian Ferguson? Speaking, who is this? My name's Randy, so I'm a freelance agent. I thought you might be interested in helping us stop... What? No, hell no. A company's about to make millions of people happy. Why can't you punk just... Let us have this. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. Compassion magnifier occur. Didn't change his mind, it just reinforces ideals. How do you access our phone network? Where are you calling from? Have a good night. Well, I didn't mean to. Ah, dang it. Okay, let's try calling as... That was Deanna. The password you gave me didn't work. Hmm, they probably changed it as a precaution since I've been acting sort of weird these days. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you. Tech people here to 
tell me we may be able to override your computer security through bio encryption. Sorry, you lost me there. Okay. Basically, if you send us your medical ID, we, we can get clearance by assimilating your presence. Whoa, didn't know that was possible, but sure. My medical ID is seven blah, blah 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 blah. Thank you. Looks like the hippie made it. You're not only compassionate, but over trusting as well. That's good for us. I just need to pass the ID to Donovan, and you'll see if a car can get Ferguson's bio profile. Is mom a bit stressed out by the whole situation? I'm afraid I won't be be of much more use tonight, so I think I'm gonna go take a long walk along the beach. Can't deal with this pressure, I swear. Don't worry, we can take it from here. You relax. Okay, thank you, and good luck. Donovan, I need your help. Hey Donovan, I need your help. <laughs> First, give his medical ID. Give his voice. It's blah 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 blah. Add a boy. Car is on it. Mm. Got it. A car shines many Ferguson profiles here, neural drivers will speak. Oh yeah, I just received it. New voice. The best. Thank you, team. Now go get him. So can I need to find out the password to access this? Well yeah, that <sighs> okay, so I can simulate his presence. So now I have his voice, right? Nope, okay, so I can't just simulate. What about this? You can find out the password. What? So I can't just... Oh, maybe I need to call someone? Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hello, Karen. Hello, Adrian. I thought you were resting up at the villa. How are you? Fine, thanks. You can keep resting if you want. Don't worry about tonight's plans. Ra Radica's got everything under control. I'm feeling a bit better. I want to be here to support the company at this critical moment. That's so brave of you, Adrian. Listen, someone changed the password and I need access to my computer. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm afraid I can't help you. You should call Francis about that. Please remind me what his number is. Sure, let me check. Mm, here. TTO Frank Francis Co Coconut. So that's that's the guy who wrote the, the code thing, right? Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome. These people are very trusting. It's very nice. 555 There we go. CTO's office, what's wrong? Good evening, Francis. Hey, Adrian, why are you calling? I thought you were taking some days off. That's right, I was feeling a bit with the pressure and all. But hell, I want to be here. Well spoken, friend. Tonight we shape history. Is there something I can do for you? I can't access my computer. Well, I can't access my computer. Well, that. I'm sorry, buddy. Since you were taking an inter indeterminate number of days off, I figured I should change your password. Just to be safe, we got some critical days ahead, you know? I understand. Good call, Francis. What's the new password, then? I don't want you to tarnish your style, so I made it a small homage to your idol. It's a bit of a welcome back to prison, eh? That's what is Fork Parker, best CFO. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I've got all the stuff I need to deal with tonight. Thank you, man. Give me a call if you need anything else. Sure, bye. Oh, great. Fork Parker. Mm mm mm. Hundreds of employees registries here. I'm gonna filter for one, for the ones that seem familiar. All right, what do we have here? Except for Francis and Edgar, it looks like I have clearance to access most employee profiles. Let's dig in. Which folder should I check? Ooh. Protected. Deanna Mays. Karen from HR. Nice. I'm in. Gonna run my data skimming script to see what we got here. She's 24 years old and her name is Karen from HR? From Hiker? Is that German? <laughs> no silly, she's written in literally as it is. First name Karen, last name from HR. <laughs> Sorry. This is weird, very weird. She has pre normal profile. There's an average amount of common info here. This very normally feels strange. Almost forged? I mean, who's that uninteresting? It's like her profile is packed with inoffensive signs. I think you're probably overthinking it. Focus on our mission. Okay, super weird, trust me. I trust you. But who knows what level of secrets this corporation, corporations like this could be hiding. We have more pressing matters to attend to. All right, all right. What if that's Radhika? Hmm. Let's check this one then. Nice, I'm in. Gonna run my data screen scripts. Just pressing my buttons on this telephone. Louisa Rabia. Cool, her landline number is here too. For the rest, there's a massive amount of sketches, concept art, and brainstorming locks. The only mildly interesting thing is that she started to consider some ideas re regarding the presentation of the new CEO. 
looking into how to probably communicate their philosophy while spinning the situation in the supercontinent's favor. Though by her notes, it seems Larissa is struggling with to picture her new boss's personality or image. Maybe I could use that. Struggling to picture the image of the new CEO. Nothing else? Nope, pretty much above board, this girl. Mm -hmm. Which photo should it actually? Um, Deanna Mays. Okay, I'm in Deanna's account. Gonna run my blah blah blah. I don't know where this is going. Well, I guess we only have tonight, right? Active with projects, social, psych, welfare, landline, phone, implants done at Supercontinent's clinic so we can access her medical data. Shame last night I told the car to recreate Diana's, Diana's voice. We could have gotten it from this or whatever. Let's keep digging. Ah, oh, crack. That, that means that oh, I picked the wrong one. I should have picked the, the professor dude. And what's this? A file called failsafe.nfo. Holy sh... This looks like some sort of trump card Diana held, held on to to get back at Supercontinent in case events turned against her. It points to a corrupted version of the SPW that could fry the whole system. Is it, Donovan? That's what we needed. Yes! Bless you, Diana. Or executed, or whatever you cool hangers do. Mm, it's not that easy. The corrupted version was committed, committed to the project's main repository, whose administrator was is Edgar. To get the firework started, I'll need to access Edgar's profile to roll the repository back to the corrupted version. What? To roll the repository back to the corrupted version? Okay. Ah, it's never that simple with you nerdy spies. Don't worry, we still got this. We can access Edgar's account. This evil machine is done. Okay, now. Which folder should I access next? Actually, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I've been recording for quite a while, but I did kind of mess up on some parts. And this whole thing, I kind of needed to get used for, to that. I expected it was kind of gonna be like the the uh, the bartending game where I was like gonna have breaks and stuff to do it. Like it wasn't just gonna be one big roll. But this seems to be the final mission. The supercontinent either go the supercontinent's plan either goes down tonight or never. So this is very interesting. And I don't know how much of the game there is actually left. There might still be an hour or even maybe even more left but i'm not sure we might be getting closer to the ending than i'm thinking but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you all later peace